Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. See the difference between APC and PDP. One is for one is the party for the masses, while the other is against the masses. People usually ask some questions about our political parties especially the two most established, known and biggest parties, political parties in Nigeria. The common question people ask, though in different languages and tune, all centered are, are the two ideologies different between the two political parties, the People Democratic Party, PDP, and the All Progressive Congress, APC? Why one claims to be for the progress and progressive, the other claims to be for the conservatives. The simple thing, progressive, progressive, progressive is a political philosophy in support of social reform. It is based on the idea of progress in which advancement in silence, mm -hmm. technical, economic development and social organizations are vital to the improvement of the human condition and conservative is a political and social physiological promotion traditional societal instruments in the context of culture and civilization in nigeria political space there is actually a gulf of difference in the ideology of these two political parties although politicians do not move from one politicians do move from one to the other freely as there is no rule yet that forbids any politician from moving from one political party to the other but a lot of move of them moving are not doing so based on ideology reasons just for personal and selfish reasons most times one very important thing one needs to look out for is the quality of life when a political party is at the aim of affairs in the state or the country at large and the quality of bills that is being presented to the lawmakers for each political party. A typical example is a recent bill being proposed by actors from two political parties on the floor of the National Assembly. APC Senator introduced bill for the establishment of an agency for repented Boko Haram. Now, <laughs> wow, Nigerians. Remember that one, Abi? Refer to my former news and please get an update on that. Bill for repented Boko Haram. Those when you kill people, when you destroy lives and property, they want to take over their lives and property. You say they are repentant. What's the, what, what is the basis for majoring that they are really repented? <laughs> Let's continue. APC Senator introduced bill for the regulation of social media. And then another one. People cannot talk freely. Anybody anti yes speech should be hanged. Moboko Haram can be free. Can you imagine? Is this a country or a zoo? <laughs> Let's continue. PDP reps introduced a bill for automatic employment for graduates from PDP. This is PDP. Now introduced bill for automatic employment for, for graduates after NYC. Why actors from a particular political party source to dig the people from speaking their minds on the other form. The same political party source to seek support for the Boko Haram terrorists and the other form different political party source to seek employment for graduates after one year mandatory National Youth Service Corps called NYSC. The difference is very clear between the parties of the masses and the party against the masses. You can virtually tell for yourself who is for the people and who are against the people. I can tell you from narratives, from personal perspective, being someone of the media and reporting daily on the affairs of Nigeria, what's going on in Nigeria and around the nations of the world. APC are proposing bills that will not support the general masses and promote good life and, you know, pro proper movement of Nigeria and the people. 
APC has put Nigeria in more debts than any other political party has ever done in the history of Nigeria. Take for instance, when Muhammad Buhari came into position as Nigerian leader, he came in with the debt then about 12.6 billion naira to be repaid. But right now, it's 26.7 billion naira, 26.7 billion naira to be repaid, you know. And he's still asking for more loans. There is nothing about economical development. There is nothing certain what will happen to you. To rather, he puts his children, his daughter, at the arm of affair straight away, a de uh, deputy manager, with the intention gradually to make her the leader of those that will be regulating the price of petroleum in the country. Right now, as we speak, the price of petroleum has, uh, you know, has been slashed due to what uh, uh, Saudi Haramco and others are doing pumping crude oil into the market and so the price of crude oil has gone down at the moment and even nigerian uh, government buhari is looking at redu reducing the fuel price buhari came into power speaking about uh, fuel subsidy that there was no such thing as fuel subsidy my people never stop on nine who carry fuel subsidy for head now nine did one all the corruption when they say they fight now when you know they party now you be the corrupt oh. now efcc will follow you so Nigerians are smart. Guess what they are doing now? They are all decamping because there is no rule that tells them to stay in one party. And there is no rule regarding movement. In, in um, civilized countries of the world, we have like the United States of America, we have the conservative, we have the Republicans and the conservatives. And you don't have them moving between, you don't have them moving between par parties. If you are for the Republican, you are for the Republican. If you are for the Democrats, you are for the Democrats. You know, you stay on your lane. You don't move into other people's lane. You know, where are you driving on the road? If you move into other people's lane, it's against the rule. You can cause an accident. Things can go wrong. You know, it's evil. It's wrong. It's not done. It makes, it makes the country, it makes things not to go well. You know, so these are some of the things that Nigerian government are not cognizant of, that they are not aware of, and they just go about doing things anyhow. We should not be. In Nigeria, there is no proper rule of law. But I'm not saying, guess what? Neither APC or PDP is good, though. They all have their flaws, though. But it's what is going on with PDP, with APC in the rule now. Oh, PDP seems like a golden child and look like the choice child right now because APC has seriously damaged Nigeria. Since they came in, can you imagine a bill to support repentant Boko Haram? Who said they are repentant? Someone that has been killing, that is used to killing people. You said he's repentant? In what, in what way, capacity or form? How did you measure his repentancy? How did you, what were the measures? Where were the things you put in place to make sure that this person has repented? What did you do? How did you do it? What did you put in place? What were some of the things you did to make sure that he, he he, he, he is transformed and how can you determine if somebody has been truly transformed because it's from the mind it's the heart things that cannot be seen so what were your what were your yastic for measurement these are some of the things that apc have come to do to nigeria they are also trying to pass a bill say social media bill anti-hate speech guess what if somebody speaks a hate speech who determine what is hate for what word might be an offense to you might not be an offense to another person so they said there's somewhere that if somebody speaks about uh, something in a hateful manner, that person can be hanged. Oh, now you say you won't kill Nigerians, now you won't kill the whole country now. You population, you won't kill everybody because of your selfish motives. But guess what? Oh, Boko Haram can be flied in the army jet, brought to Nigeria, given houses, people that they killed. You took them to their land to go and replace those people, to take over their farmland, to take over their houses, their home. What does that tell you? You know, tell you, say this with a gay hand put, and you're trying to reward those that you've used, you know. You can allege it, it can be alleged to say that this is the reason why they are being treated as such. And nobody's really saying anything. But look at what PDP is pro proposing, that those that finish NYC should be given jobs immediately. Those that finish NYC should be given jobs immediately. They should be looked after. Because these are people that have served, that have gone to school. I can tell you for sure. That the highest education your president have, the president of the country, is Waiek. These are people who have gone beyond Waiek. They've gone for further studies and yet no job. 
you know. And there's one man parading himself as the president of the country without even proper education that will be meeting with other people that are well educated. So these are some of the issues for you to digest and to look into. I want to say a big thank you to all of you out there listening. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We're here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. Thanks for listening. God bless.